For the secretive alliance of owners who are attempting to bring professional soccer back to Canada, last week marked a huge step in their efforts as the Canadian Premier League announced their new commissioner, former Tim Hortons executive, David Klanekin. I've always been passionate about sports and soccer has been a personal passion of mine since I been very, was very young. In fact, I still play soccer to this day in Burlington. So, so to me, it was a bit of a, an opportunity to create a legacy and, and work with some great people in the sports world, also with some great owners. Uh, and that was one of the key things that I saw is the passion of the people and the purpose that they have for something bigger than just, you know, uh, developing uh, a soccer league. It was something bigger to, to create something in Canada that's never been done. That was, that's what really attracted to me to the job. With participation rates in youth soccer higher than in any other team sport across the country, the new league has ambitions of one day following in the lead of leagues around the world and having a multi-tiered promotion and relegation system. Why do we like that? Because it, it brings other uh, cities and communities into the, into the program and always has that, it, it, it creates that, uh, that competition for, uh, to strive to be better and, and you know, can we make it to that next level, can we make it to the big league? And it also it creates a, a, a great degree of, uh, of that competition uh, at many different levels and allows more and more, uh, you know, and frankly from, uh, from our perspective, it allows more and more Canadians to play soccer at a high level in this country and that just feeds on itself and creates even better competition overall. Hypothetically, this could mean that a team from Burlington or Oakville could one day be in competition with the best, but that is still years down the road, and David says that this league is being set up with long-term goals in mind. For now, though, they are starting out small and hoping to grow organically from there. We're looking at eight to 10 teams in the first year. We're talking to 12 to 15 communities right now and, and, and groups, uh, so, but some are a little further along in the process than others. So we wanted that full, that full uh, season in. We, there was some talk earlier of maybe following the World Cup and launching a half season. There's, there's a name for it, it escapes me at this moment in time, but, but you know, it quickly became, uh, became clear that you'd be doing it with less than those eight to 10 teams and it, it really wouldn't work as well. The reality is we want to, put our best foot forward. We, we know that people are waiting for it, but when we go in April, then, then, then we'll be ready. And, and we don't want to, we want to put great product on the field. We want to have great teams and good organizations, and therefore good clubs that people, that, that, that the fans can support and be great supporters of. David says that while there is certainly an interest in creating a women's league to complement the men, the concern for the time being will be focusing on getting the men set up first. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Pierce Lang.